Hello you beautiful human beings, today I'm going to be sharing with you my day hike kit essentials. The things that I take and I wear when I go on a day hike. Now what I'm focusing on today is actual physical clothing and kit. What I'm going to do is link down below a blog post where I link all of these clothes that I'm going to talk you through today as well as more practical kit like compasses and head torches and things like that because if you're going to be doing a longer hike or sunrise or sunset hike you might need those pieces of equipment but in this video I'm focusing purely on clothing, the clothing that I wear when I'm going on a day hike and the backpacks and the water bladders and all that sort of stuff. So let's just hop in, there's lots to show you. Let's start off with shoes because what you have on your feet is so essential when you're hiking, so important. You're gonna be putting so much weight and strain and thousands of steps through your feet. So this is where, if you're gonna invest in something, really invest in some good hiking boots. So these are the hiking boots that I use for my day hikes. These are from Merrill, they are the Moab, something something i don't know the exact name on the top of my head but everything will be linked in the blog post down below these are amazing and one thing that i love about them not only are they i mean they're kind of cute because they've got little pink bits on them and they're waterproof because they're gore-tex but i did not have to break them in i've had walking boots in the past that i had to like go through pain to break them in to get them comfortable to be able to hike long distances in them and i could hike 20k plus in these from day one zero blisters 100 percent comfort they do the job i love them i recommend them give them a go great ankle support i don't know what else to say about them but they're just the best hiking boots i've ever had okay but i also want to mention these shoes these are the adidas terex hiking trainers adidas terex hiking trainers now these, I used to use these a lot more, but I actually realized that I prefer to have more ankle support. So now I probably do 90% of my hikes wearing my full on boots. But these are good if you're doing like a more gentle hike. I would not recommend using these on really long hikes or hikes where you have lots of elevation gain and loss. So you're going up and down a lot in a hike because they don't provide enough ankle support, I don't think, for that sort of activity. But they're nice for like long country walks or like a gentle hike where you're not putting too much strain through your ankles, etc. So I do like to have these, but I don't wear them as much as my hiking boots, but they're good for like if you're doing something a bit more gentle. So those are my two hiking shoe recommendations. In terms of waterproof coat, the coat that I use is this one from Revolution Race. Again, this will be linked down below with the model name and number in my blog post, etc. But this is a really, really important piece of kit. You've got to make sure that it is 100% waterproof. This is going to be the main barrier between you and the rain. So make sure that you have a really, really good one. And one thing I always recommend checking when you get your raincoat is checking the hood. And when you pull your hood up, does it come over your face far enough to stop the rain getting in your eyes? Because sometimes hoods just come to like here and then all of this just gets drenched. So you kind of need to make sure that the hood comes all the way over and provides a lot of shelter for you and your face. So yes, this is my personal favorite hiking coat. This is my thin lightweight one. And I do have a thicker one that I'll show you. So I have like a thinner one, which I can just throw on even on a hot day or I can layer up layers underneath it on a cold day. But I also have a thicker one. This is from Revolution Race. I also love the color. This color looks great on photos. Not gonna lie, that did influence my choice of color. <laughs> okay, let's move on to my thicker coat. Now this is my Berg House coat. Again, I will leave this linked. I'm obsessed with this. This is actually a men's coat and something you're going to realise as a theme throughout this video is because I'm tall, I'm six foot two, 188 centimetres, I am not afraid to buy men's hiking kit to get things that fit me. Uh, I have long arms. My arms are so long. My wingspan is wide. So I have to get things that reach my wrists So and also reach my ankles. So I tend to actually pick a lot of men's pieces. And there's nothing wrong with that, ladies. Don't worry about doing that. So this is my Berghaus thick coat. This has just got a thicker lining to keep you nice and warm. I don't use this as much as I use this guy because this guy, I can just kind of add layers underneath. I can also strip layers back and stay cool. Whereas this is strictly for really, really cold days because it keeps you super duper warm. And of course it's waterproof and it ticks all of those functional boxes. But yeah, I like to have two different coat options available to me. 
a thinner one and a thicker one. The reality is that I actually use my thinner one more, as I said, because it's more practical for layering. It fits into my backpack easier. It's just easier to lug around, you know, but I do like to have my big thick one. And yeah, this is Berghaus Men. Let's talk about shirts and tops. I get so many questions about these. So I have some more here for you. So basically my shirts, this is probably one of my most frequently asked questions over on Instagram. Zana, where do you get your check shirts that you hike in? And honestly, I've collected them over many, many years. This is probably three years old. This is four years old. This is four years old. And they're from the most random places. Like this is from Free People. This is from Top Man. This is from Kathmandu, which is like a New Zealand hiking brand. So I kind of just, whenever I see a nice check shirt, I just buy it. There isn't one shop that I go to for my check shirts. I just pick up ones that I think are cute. And you might be like, Zana, why are you putting check shirts in a hiking video? And honestly, because they're just a really nice layer to throw on. If it's like a warm hike, but you want to keep your shoulders covered, a check shirt is cute, covers your shoulders, adds a little bit of warmth, but also fits with the hiking vibe. We're trying to keep a little bit of aesthetics here, guys. So I love check shirts. I wear them on pretty much every single hike. They're a really nice layer to throw on and they look great. So I can't actually recommend a particular shop to get check shirts from, but I can just say they're a nice kind of layering piece to have when you're hiking, just to make you a little bit warmer, cover your shoulders and look cute. Okay, and then this is another super frequently asked question. These little tops that I wear, sorry, the white is probably gonna overexpose the light, but these are the tops that I wear for my hikes. I wear them as my base layer. And the reason I love them, they're from Adenola, is they have a built-in shelf bra into them. So I don't have to wear a bra underneath them. And then if it's a super hot hike, I can take all my layers off and I've got my shoulders out, my armpits have got air to breathe, but also they've got a little bit of support in them and I can just layer them up and add everything on top of them. So honestly, I have so many of these because I wear them every day of my life. I wear them with like jeans and blazers and I wear them with leggings on hikes with a check shirt. So these are my Adenola crop tops. Obsessed, wear them every day of my life. <laughs> you need them in your life, you will not regret them. <sighs> One of the best things I've ever discovered. So, so when it comes to leggings, I actually used to only hike in the Lululemon Align leggings, but then I recently discovered their Invigorate leggings, and these are my favorite for hiking now. They're just like plain black leggings, but the reason that I love these so much is because number one, they're high-waisted, number two, they reach my ankles because I'm super tall, but number three, they have pockets on the side, and this is a great place to put your phone because I just hate having to like, have nowhere to put my phone and then it's going in my backpack. I'm trying to tuck it into my waistband, but it's falling out or getting sweaty. Just, it's not, it's not a vibe. It's not a vibe. We want pockets in our leggings and our shorts. So I go for the Lululemon Invigorate leggings in the black with the pockets on the side. And I love them. I wear them all the time. They are perfect for hiking. And then when it's a hot day and I want to wear shorts, I get the Lululemon invigorate shorts with the pockets so it's literally the leggings in a short form with the same pockets on the side they're super high waisted they're a really nice length you can actually buy them with different leg lengths you can get like leg lengths that come more down towards your knee or more like short short leg lengths depending on what you feel comfortable with so lululemon invigorate leggings invigorate shorts i wear them for every single hike every single hike okay while we're talking about bottoms, let me touch on waterproof trousers. So this is another situation where I will go for men's just to get that leg length. So I think these ones are Berghaus. These are Berghaus. These are men's waterproof trousers. You need waterproof trousers. Your friends, when you're on a hike and the heavens open and you're getting pissed on by the weather gods and you pull out your waterproof leggings, they'll all laugh because they'll be like, why have you got waterproof trousers? But you will be dry. You'll be the dry one when you get to the pub after the hike, guys. Waterproof trousers, I take them everywhere. Even if the sun's shining, the waterproof trousers come with me because they're just a game changer with keeping you dry. So waterproof trousers are the one. I love to have ones with like these buttons and zips down the side because then you can like easily get them on and off over your walking boots. You don't have to take your walking boots off to get your waterproof trousers on. I am obsessed with waterproof trousers. Not enough people 
use them. Everybody just gets waterproof coat and nobody gets the trousers. Get the trousers. You won't regret it, okay? So layers. If you're trying to keep warm on a hike, a fleece is a really, really good layer to have because they just hold in so much heat. So I have this North Face fleece which I just throw on over the top of my check shirt and underneath my coat and that just adds like another layer of warmth to keep me all cozy inside. But then if things are super duper duper cold then I can start adding in like other layers of coats etc. Um, but I don't have any staple layering coats so I can't really share that with you because it varies so much depending on like how warm it is, how cold it is. I have quite a few different coats of different thicknesses. Um, but one thing that I do always take with me in my, in my backpack is a fleece. A fleece is such a useful layer to just throw on to keep you warm, a plain black, you can't go wrong, get one. Now we're getting on to some exciting things. Backpacks. So this is my backpack. God, she's battered. She's battered and she probably smells bad and her clips are broken because I've just used it so much, but I love this bag. This is my Osprey Tempest 30 litre. Are you 30 litres? I think you're 30 litres. It doesn't say anywhere right now. Well, I think it's 30 litres. It's a 30 litre Osprey backpack. In a summer hike, this typically is like half empty because it's a lot. 30 litres is a lot to be carrying around with you on a day hike. But I just like to have the capacity there because when it's a cold hike or a rainy hike, this fits everything. I can take my waterproof jacket, my waterproof trousers, extra layers, anything. I can take my swimsuit, my like mini toweling dry robe. I can take it all in here. It fits everything. So for me, 30 litres is a really nice size for a day hike where you're preparing for all weather conditions. I like to have 30 litres on me. So this is my 30 litre Osprey backpack. Another reason why I love this backpack is because it has the hip straps. You need hip straps. If you're doing a long hike, hip straps are so key because basically then it distributes the weight from not just being on your shoulders, but also sitting on your hips. Just makes it better for your back and your shoulders and all of that tension you can carry in your neck when you've been carrying a heavy backpack. This relieves that. And yeah, I also like to get an Osprey one because I'm gonna show you an Osprey drinking tube in a minute. And that Osprey drinking pack just slots into this gap here. So it's really, really practical and functional. So I can put my drinking pack in here, bring out the tube and hook the tube. Where's my little um, hookity hook? Hook the tube into this little loop here. And then I have my tube right next to my face for easy drinking access throughout my hike. So I am an Osprey gal when it comes to backpacks and I highly recommend Osprey Tempest 30 litre. It's so good. It's so good. So let's show you that drinking pack that I was just talking about. This is called a water bladder. And this <laughs> looks very interesting, but basically you fill this up with your water. I have a few different sizes. I have a 1.5, a two litre, and a three litre. I use the three litre the most. If I'm doing like a 20K hike or a six hour hike, I'll take three litres in this bag with me. This slots into that gap that I just showed you in the backpack. And then you have this tube which comes out and you just literally, Put it in your mouth and drink water while you're hiking. This is such a great way to stay hydrated. If you just have a bottle in your backpack, you have to like reach back, get the bottle out or take your backpack off to get the bottle out. It makes staying hydrated feel like a chore. Whereas this just makes staying hydrated feel fun. This is not fun drinking out of a tube. I think it's fun drinking out of a tube. So highly recommend a water bladder. This will be a game changer if you're doing longer day hikes and you want to stay hydrated get involved. If you're going to be hiking somewhere where it's going to be wet, it's going to be rainy, dry bags are really important just to put your possessions in inside your backpack. I like many layers of waterproofness on my backpack. So on the outside of the backpack, I actually have this. This is a backpack cover, which I put on my backpack when it starts to rain, which adds an extra layer of waterproofness to the backpack. Then the backpack itself is waterproof. And then inside the backpack, I have these dry bags. So I like to make sure my possessions are staying clean and dry and not getting wet. So I can put my camera or my technology inside of this and I can just flip it over, roll it down and it can stay nice, dry and secure. So yeah, I do tend to have a dry bag inside my backpack if I'm taking technology with me, cameras, etc. And then as I said, I always carry my backpack cover for if it's gonna rain, love a backpack cover. 
And then these are my final few bits. Now I don't have particular recommendations for hats, but it's good to take a hat with you. This is a very cute one from Finisterre. Nothing else to say about that. Gloves, get like super intense ones. I got these ones in Patagonia. I went in and I was like, what's the most intense glove you have for like super cold hands? And they recommended these. So I'll leave these linked down below if I can find this brand. The brand is called Montaigne and they are amazing. They also have like a little tip on it so I can use my phone. Um, but make sure that if you want super thick gloves, I actually just recommend going into the shop and saying to them, if you have poor circulation like me, just be like, I have really bad circulation. Give me the best gloves in the business. Um, and these were expensive, I feel. Oh yeah, I think these were expensive, but these were a good purchase for me because my hands do not get cold in them. They're like just a little, cozy little burrito for my fingers. This is also a really nice little hiking accessory to have. Coming on to the last two things here, guys. Sorry, I just feel like you need to have all of the deets. So this is a buff. You put it around your neck and you can just like keep your neck nice and warm. And also if you're starting to get really windy and rainy, you can put it around your face like this and it keeps your face nice and warm when it's super chilly outside. I always have a buff in my backpack on chilly days. And my last recommendation is socks. Now there's lots of like professional sock companies for hikers. And if you wanna get those, please do. But I'm just sharing my personal recommendation. These are Stance socks. So Stance socks are my favorite socks I use there. Little slip socks for my um, like pretty white trainers. I use their training socks for the gym and I use their hiking socks for my hikes. I'm definitely a loyal Stance customer. I do basically get all of my socks from them. So yeah, these are their hiking socks. They're super warm, super comfortable, super cute. I mean, look at that design. I'm obsessed with them. So yeah, I only wear Stance hiking socks. They're the only hiking socks that I wear. I love them. They never give me any blisters. They are just the best. So I feel like I've rambled on for so long about hiking kit, but I really hope you guys found that useful. As I said, there will be links down below to my blog post where I outline all of this kit. If you have any more questions about hiking kit or items or recommendations, please leave them down below. I would love to share more informative videos like this with you. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. If you did enjoy this and you found this useful, hit thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys super soon. Have an amazing day. Happy hiking. Bye.